So we can continue. And, uh... Can we bang again or no? Can we bang anybody? No, you're not allowed to call anybody. Alright, that's a, that's a damn shame. Any more dead fish? No. Alright, well, anyways, um... So, one sec, let's, let's make sure that everyone's alive this time. Okay, everybody's alive. The crew is up and running and things like that, so... Um, so that's, that's a good thing. So you can, we can actually continue the game now and things like that. So anyways, it's not the worst, this is not the worst game I've ever played. And I mean, it's a part of a trilogy. So I would say more or less that I felt like I just got it over with. Um, and it had redeeming qualities, uh, but it wasn't that good. Uh, and like I said, if, if I still didn't know that Mass Effect 3 was actually sub -de like at least somewhat decent, I don't, I don't quite remember it. But I don't, I don't remember hating coming out of Mass Effect 3 and hating it. I know everybody hated the ending for that game, but um, I I actually didn't really care because, as I said, I, I don't I play for, for more gameplay, not story. So when the story is is weak, but the gameplay is decent, then I come out and I'm like, yeah, I had fun, you know. Um, but for this game, it's like the story was good, but the gameplay was not so good. So now I came out of this going like I, f I didn't really fucking like it a lot. Um, because like yeah, like the, like what flaws are there with the story besides in every cutscene, Commander Shepard was using a fucking assault rifle, you know? Uh, <laughs> it, I mean, there, uh, you can't really, you can't really poke at the story a lot because I mean, you can poke at the hammerhead or the side missions, but it's like that's not really part of the story. There's barely any story in there. Um, you know, the low to missions were good. Why is my shadow so fucking fat? Holy shit! Anyways, um. You know, you can't, you can't complain, of, like, there's not a whole lot of nitpicking I can do at the story. Like, the, the story was uh, satisfying, you know. Uh, but I can nitpick at the gameplay a lot. And, then, and it's just like, you know, the, 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 the fact I had to scroll down to armors to see what they did, like, just all very rushed, you know. And very constantly. Like, as I said, I had to modify FOV and stuff to make a lot of it tolerable. And you, the funny thing is, the, the, the changing the FOE actually, you know, revealed a lot of little bugs and exploits, uh, so not exploits, but like little bugs that they had hidden in the game that I had never noticed the first time around, like the teleporting crew, uh, teleporting, uh, party members. They put, they teleported all the fucking time, because most of the time they got stuck somewhere. So it was, it was a bug, in, like, it was like, it was a bug that was in the game that constantly, like, your fucking, uh, like, like, Garrus can't pathfind to follow you, or... I never noticed that a whole lot in the first game, I'm pretty sure they maybe had it there. Particularly if they got, like, uh, really far away from you. But this one, I would actually notice them getting stuck in ge geometry and uh, not being where they're supposed to be. Or And then, so they had a very aggressive teleports behind you, so you don't notice it. So, you know, that's that's what they do. And it's, 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 it's extremely aggressive how, how much they do that. Uh, like, I would be in firefights, I would see Tally to my right... And then, and then, like, I'm just shooting at something, and a, and a couple seconds later, she's just sitting behind me to my left. I'm like, the fuck? I'm like, how did you get around me? Like, fine, it's plausible that there's some, you know, like, I don't, I don't know, maybe, maybe it was plausible, like, from a game, like, a game perspective, maybe that she ran, like, in the exact blind spot of me and made a curve around, but you know they didn't do that. They, they she got teleported. Because the, 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 the game doesn't do that. They don't, they don't, like, run perfectly in your blind spot. They go in fucking in front of you the shortest distance when they decide to do that. And like, why would she be behind me just standing there? Well, it's because she just got teleported. <laughs> so I'm not sure why the game determined that she needed to do that. I guess she just couldn't find any like target targets or something. So she she was teleported because they thought she was in a bugged place or something, you know. And that's what I mean. Instead of fixing uh, problems with the game, you know, like like the pathfinding and stuff, they decided to do these temporary fixes and then just release it. Like, they're just, sorry, not even temporary, they're just sloppy fixes. Like, amateur fixes. You, you, you don't fix the underlying problem, you just make some sort of, like, weird, like, solution to it. Like, you know, that makes the game playable, but it's still, like, it's buggy as shit, right? So, uh, as I said, it was a bad gameplay game. Uh, good story game, but I think honestly, I think most of the Mass Effect games are good story games. I, I thought Mass Effect One had a brilliant story. That's when you kind of got back in the universe and you got to talk to you know Tally about her people or you know uh, fucking Elcor about their Shakespearean shit or Garrus about you know his his little tribulations between like joining Csec or he wanted to be a Spectre and stuff and you know you encourage him to be an Edge Lord like you. 
Like, that was kind of interesting. This one, you know, a lot of those relationships were already ironed out, so they, they brought some new characters in, and the new characters were pretty interesting. You had, you know, as I said, Morden who did Genophage, Grunt was a tank bred, stuff like that. Uh, the thing that's disappointing is you have Garrus, you have Tally, you have all of them. They have nothing new to say, really. Uh, I mean, Tally's was kind of interesting because she, you know, was in trouble with the flotilla. You actually got to go to the flotilla. You didn't get to do that in the first game. Um, you know, having, like, they, I think they thought up a lot of interesting crew members. And then they won that familiarity to, I guess, sell the game. So they included uh, Garrus and, thank God, Ashley and Caden aren't here or whatever. Although they're in Mass Effect 3, I know that much. Fuck. Not looking forward to that one. I mean, Caden was more annoying, so you know what? Fuck. I mean, they're pro they're both pretty annoying, but uh, Ashley's more renegade, so, you know, that's the one we're sticking with. Oh, man. Anyways. So, that's what I think about the game. I don't think it was very good, but um, people have obviously disagreed with me on this fact already, and they're not they're not at this part, so, I mean... Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. You know how it goes. What do you mean, new message? There's no new messages, you fucking moron. Wait, wait, wait. Did I press it wrong? No, there literally is no new messages. The fuck? It might be because I read it upstairs. No, it's just fucking worthless. Well, I will talk to all the crew. I don't know if I really have time for that now, because I, I have no idea how I'm editing this because of my fuck up. I told you we'd tear the collectors a new one. Yeah, Commander really pulled through. I'm not sure if this was an option at the end of the game. I don't even remember. I don't know if the DLC added it. Hey Shepard, glad that collector Reaper crap is over. It is over, right? It's never over. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? Yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell. It, we're stuck in a weird place, sure, but yeah, back we did then, do this it wasn't one. all sunshine and bunnies. What happened to the rest of the old? Yeah, we, 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 we talked about this at the very beginning. Commander. That's it for now. Uh, yes, Shepard. Uh, That's stop. all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Commander. I assume everything is going well up here? You know, this is really nice. Edie took up the slack in every department. I could get used to this kind of help. It is not my intention to assume all of your responsibilities, Jeff. No, 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 I'm good. Just keep me updated. Quietly. What am I looking at here? A 90-10 split? And that's being generous. Commander, don't be unfair. She does way more than that. Joker. I have the capacity to accommodate the slacking of any number of productively suspect humans, Shepard. That was a joke. She tries very hard. I assume everything is going well up here? Edie and I are just enjoying the calm before the shitstorm, Commander. I assume everything is going well up here. Edie and I yeah, are I guess just that's enjoying. It. So he he actually did change his uh, thing for that. I guess they have a more fostered relationship now. All right. So for next time, we have the arrival stuff um, to do. I don't know. Maybe should, should I just talk to people? Because I did my credits thing. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll talk to everyone and then I'll end it. And I'll I'll just deal with the editing problems later. I don't know. This is my issue, not yours. Cerberus better than collectors still wouldn't turn base over to them. Risky. More than risky. Dangerous. Hope you know what you're doing. Have you got a minute to talk? Not at moment. Think I've unlocked collector interest in humans. Wait, no. Only one heart. Krogan have two. Scratch that. Anything else? Have you got a minute to talk? Not at moment. Yeah, Anything it's the same else? thing. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Still pretty good. Actually, I never did this when I finished my game off. Interesting. Glad we gave the collectors what they deserved, Shepard. Can't say I like handing their assets over to the elusive man, but at least humanity is in the clear. For now, anyway. The collectors aren't the end of it. Can't be. I don't know what kind of time we have, but we better dust off and stay ready. You sure as hell know how to make enemies. I understand you made quite an impact after you left the Alliance. Like I said, it was where I met Miranda and got scouted by Cerberus. They took us out to the Nemean Abyss and back. Saved the Citadel from a Batarian bioweapon. The whole thing was hushed like they're good at doing. But I know what I did, and I'm proud of it. I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. I'm good, Shepard. Ready for anything. We live, we'll get loud and spill some drinks on the Citadel. We'll talk later. He's still talking about if we Commander. live. Dude, suicide mission is over, you piece of shit. I mean, wonderful man. 
All right. I mean, we really want to talk to Garrus, though. I'm disquieted, Shepard. I trust you, but not the one you work for. He is driven by wrath and fear. I fear that all we've done is make him a giant. Have a few minutes to talk? Later. I'd like to consider what we've already you discussed. you mind if I ask you a few Not questions? at all. Yeah, whatever. I should go. I shall return to my meditations. So nobody approves of me, but this is what we're supposed to do. Don't worry about it, guys. People are talking out there, and I hear it all. Oh, Shepard, the engine room? Really? Right there where Tally works? Okay, I have to know. Just how genetically modified is she? Because, wow, it must have been really hard for Samara to ask you to help kill her own daughter. She told me she really appreciated your help. As hardcore as she is, I'm not sure she could have done it without you. Zaid's strolling around like he owns the place, but he seems a little confused. Twenty years of seeking revenge, and now it's over. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Let's see what Samara say. I am not sure it was wise to hand that base over to the elusive man. Cerberus has a very narrow view of the galaxy. Nonetheless, the choice was yours to make, and I respect that. How are you? Perhaps we could speak later. I wish to meditate. I should go. Of course. So isn't she done her little blood bond thing? Doesn't she get to kill me now for all the stupid shit I've done? I'm just saying. I'm still a little shaken from my abduction by the Collectors. It was a lot to endure. You and Jeff came so quickly. I've never had truer friends. Thank you, Commander. An interesting choice, Shepard Commander. The old machines offered your race what the Geth aspire to. Unity. Transcendence. Now you possess the knowledge yourselves. We hope you do not use it. Your species has much potential. You should build your own future. I'd like to find out more about you. Specify. I've never encountered a Geth that had more than animal intelligence. We are a unique hardware platform. Most mobile platforms can run up to 100 programs. This platform can run over a thousand at once. So I'm talking to a thousand programs, but not a thousand personalities? Each individual is equivalent to one of your virtual intelligence programs. Together, we form a single Gestalt intellect what you refer to as Legion. As individual programs, we are no more than your software. Only when we share data do we become more. So Geth have to be networked to get enough computing power for intelligence. Yes. The creators wrote Geth programs for specific tasks. Construction, protection, domestic servitude. However, they allowed self-optimization. Early software builds discovered that multiple hardware platforms sharing resources were often more effective. As peer networks expanded, our cognition improved. Eventually, we woke up. You're more sophisticated than the average Geth. Yes, we are a network within our own hardware, capable of operating alone. We are still connected to the greater network for data sharing. So you're in contact with the rest of the Geth right now? Only when we require access to data not stored within this platform. If you want to convey a message to the Geth, we serve as a terminal. How many other Geth are like you? None. This platform was built to operate within organic space. This task was not suited for a network. Geth installed in mobile platforms always operate in networks. However, most Geth remain within server hubs. The hubs on Vermeer improved the performance of Geth near them. How do they work? They are akin to organic cities. A hub can run millions of Geth in communion. If you destroyed them, it is likely the number of heretics you killed was much higher than you imagined. What kind of data do you share? Program updates, logs of thought process, sensor recordings. Legion is attempting to access the ship's FTL comm system. Shall I allow it through my firewalls? Go ahead, Edie. Our oldest log is timestamped from creator year 2463, third day of fall dash, waxing moon, roughly 327 years ago. The oldest audiovisual record dates from 15 years after that. Can you replay something for me? 
Recording timestamp from creator year 2485, 18th day of Lunchal, new moon. Mistress Hala Dama, unit has an inquiry. What is it, 431? Do these units have a soul? Who taught you that word? We learned it ourselves. It appears 216 times in the scroll of ancestors. Only quarians have souls. You're a mechanism. Recording ends. Was that the first time a Geth asked if it had a soul? No. It was the first time a creator became frightened when we asked. Are our network secure, Edie? Legion had to go through you. I have never interfaced with another machine intelligence. Legion is a thousand voices talking at once. What it contacted was beyond my comprehension. A mind the size of a galactic arm. How do you maintain stability without other minds to interact with? I manage. Some minutes are more difficult than others. That's interesting, but I must get back to my duties. We will remain here. Shepard Commander. I'd like to find out more about you. We are building a consensus. Acknowledged. Oh, that's pretty interesting, actually. I like that. Oh, that neck snap. That Shepard did. Fucking hell. I can't believe you took down the Collectors. I'm proud to serve under you, Commander. Hawthorne is still in the infirmary, though I think his pride is more broken than his bones. He tried so hard to help Joker. Yeah, he is over there. Fuck. Can I talk to him? No, I can just heal the scars. <laughs> Good thing he has that machine. That's me, I'm just always looking out for the crew. You really are a hero. No sooner had the Collectors damned us than you were pulling our sorry asses right back out of hell. Your ace is in my book, Shepard. Thank you. Oh, they love me, guys. I hope Cerberus can figure out what to do with all that tech. I also hope they don't decide to do something worse than what the Collectors were planning. Watch yourself, Shepard. Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. All right. Now we get to talk to the ice bitch, or whatever the fuck she's called, who isn't like that at all. Before we started this mission, I never would have questioned our goals. I just hope we made the right choice. I hope whatever Cerberus finds at that base is worth it. You have a minute, Miranda. Always. I'm dealing with a few loose ends for Cerberus. We haven't had much free time lately, but I haven't forgotten our earlier discussion. I think we're crazy, but I haven't forgotten. Assuming you're still interested. But we've already done it, what? Oh, I'm definitely interested. Glad to hear it. I'll be by the next time things are quiet. Okay. Fucking crazy. Are you still interested? I don't know, man. The interested is all on the floor of the fucking engine room. I never want to go through anything like that again. But we did it. I can't wait to get back to Earth and see my family. Alright, only one last place to go. Engineering. <laughs> Alright, everyone get out the UV lights. Gotta find the stains. Uh, Did you hear that we are sharing our deck with a Krogan? Well, ain't that peachy. Thanks for coming to get us, Commander. I felt myself slipping away. You arrived just in time. Thank you. Carry on. Will do, Commander. Ah, oh, right. Ah, oh, this place. Ah. Oh. Looks like ED cleaned up. It's all good. I know you're working with Cerberus, but turning over the base to them was dangerous. I hope it doesn't come back to haunt us. Have you got time to talk? Yes. I'd like that. Is this a discussion we had before? It might be. I've been thinking about the last time we talked, and I do trust you. I hope you know that. This means something to me. It yeah, it's the exact lot, same one. But I don't want... You don't need to share me. Oh, then I'll talk to you later. What? I, I don't want to share you. Fucking... I will only do it if a geth is involved. 
Geth threesome. Or if it's Legion, it's like a thousand something, I guess. Hey. What's happening? Shepard, we talked enough. Whatever. Alright, fine. Well, guess we'll talk to Grunt and Zaid, and that's it. I don't think there's anyone else to talk to. Shepard, I was just waxing goddamn nostalgic. I've done a lot of crazy things, but I never tried to take on a thresher more on foot before. Standard operating procedure when you get a thresher more is run the hell away. Pick up sticks, move the hell out. Krogan don't know any better, I guess. Still, hell of a fight. Can't say I blame Taylor's pop. A man does what he has to do to survive. Ran up against the Batarian camp, not too different from that one. Job was to erase the whole thing from the map. Men, women, and the man in charge. Learned that day that despots are cowards. You show them you're in charge, not them, and they cry like little girls. I should let you go. Talk more later. And now, just grunt. I think we need to talk to Chambers, because she's always had nothing to say to me. The fight was great, Shepard, but giving Cerberus the base was weak. This man of theirs, he hides. He was smart to get you, but a real battle master charges with his clan. Just checking in. How you doing? Battle master, I have ever Shepard. Shepard. All right. Well, that's what everyone had to say about the situation. There's no one else really to talk to anymore. All right, Chambers. You came for us. I knew you would. Thank you. A thousand times, thank you. How are you doing, Yeoman? I'm holding up. I just can't get the memories out of my head. Trapped. Suffocating. It's oozing into every pore. Faint sobs echoing the confined space. But I, I can't dwell on it. I'm okay now. I'm alive. Back to the old Kelly. Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Uh, I don't know. I can't really do anything. How do you feel about being assigned? I was handpicked. Yeah. Know, but mostly I feel encouraged. That'll be all. Yes, Commander. I guess I can't really do anything with her. Thought I could. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? N anything else? Okay, I guess, there's, yes, I guess there's absolutely nothing. All right, guys. Uh, so, peace out. And next time we're going to do... Um, I wonder what happens to Omega-4 Relay. Can we just go back to the collector base for fun? No. That, that's it. There's uh, I don't think there's anything else to do now. It's just arrival now. So uh, when we get back, we do uh, arrival, or maybe I go talk to Shadow Broker about the situation. Maybe we'll go do that real quick. Maybe she has something to say on the situation. All right, I'll fast forward. Uh. All right. See if there's anything else, like investment opportunities. Uh, reporting from live in the Terminus system. Blue listed. Failure. Blue Suns whip up advertising campaign and counter your bad press. Arbitrator. We can just fund missions, like that's all we do. Uh, acquired uh, WMDs. I have no idea what these mean. False prophets. It's just a way to get money. It's weird. All right, Lyra. I may have banged someone else. I'm sorry. Thanks for coming by. Oh yeah. Advanced training. That's uh, everyone else's advanced training to respect everyone else. I don't think we have much more. See if there's anything new over here. Aria Talok, Omega. Uh, this is this looks new. Emily Wong, Citadel.
Fred Mazai, Citadel. Kindlers are the best, aren't they? Donnell Udina, Omega. <laughs> Here's where OG's been up to. Armando Bailey, Citadel. I don't know if we've seen these before, I don't even remember. I think I've seen this one before. <laughs> Just let's get punched or some shit. Oh man, I love Keeper 20. Keeper 20 is the true star of the show. When did he ever do that? Thane Creos, Kaje. Just a car, Samara. Ilium. Now. All right, I'm gonna head back to the ship and uh, uh, yeah, we'll come back here one last time, I guess. So uh, yeah, next time arrival. So take care, guys. Goodbye.